Bart. Hi, Manu. <gasps> doesn't give you the option because it doesn't like you. So mean. How you both doing? Yeah, power washing time. They gave it away as the uh, one of the free games on PlayStation this month. So I now have power washing on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. <laughs> See you in a bit, stinky Bart. Hello. Turn my hat lights on as well while I remember. There. I've been getting the last of my Christmas shopping done today. Poor birdies. Yeah, we've had rain and thunder and stuff over the past few days. Uh, I forgot to do this bit. Give me a second. Just so none of you see all my details. <laughs> I've had this hat for a couple of years now. I'm just waiting for this DLC to download now. Yeah, I've, uh, over the past couple of days, I was supposed to be going into Manchester Centre to the markets and everything. And it's just failed miserably because people have had to cancel or the weather's been too bad and stuff like that so tomorrow is the last attempt so i'm gonna go by myself tomorrow if i have to just so i can have a nosy around all markets and things and get the last few bits of my shopping done finally right now we can do it And now I'm going to do this with like absolutely nothing because I've not played it on the PlayStation. So I don't have any of the things unlocked. Oh, it gives you some for free. Then we shall add this. And we shall add my favourite. Do, 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 do. Ah, so that's how you change the thing. This is a Bart song. Right, what's happened in here? <laughs> oh, I'm going to try and make my way to the roof as well. Well, we'll do top to bottom. Oh, I was playing all these songs the other day, Vanu. The um, Aztec Cross, the um, Destiny stream I usually watch. He was having like a one-off special stream where he was just getting um, song requests for points. And it was like, like it was 15,000 points a song. But people literally have millions in his channel. Because whenever he does like a hardcore dungeon or something, you can bet on it. And I've been right three times in a row. So I currently have like 2.4 million points on his channel or something.
So I'm going to spend a million of it soon to get him to boost me through a raid. Because <laughs> that's one of it. Like a couple of his point redeems are like a boost through raid and a boost through like a hardcore dungeon or something like that. But yeah, we are. Uh, I've been consistently right in, in guessing lately, so I've got millions of points. Ready to spend all of it. Merry Grimmis. I got a uh, one of Kelly's presents arrived as well. Oh, my mum was shocked when she saw it because it didn't cost me as much as I thought it would because I managed to get it from somewhere special. But I will send you a photo, Manu, <laughs> just in case Kelly is sneaky watching. No, I would not buy her one of those. That's what I got her. So I've just sent you a picture. One of her presents. Ah, that's what that is. I forgot that it had like the free aim thing there. Yeah, I managed to find a bunch. I got something my mum's been looking for for ages. Got something for my dad as well. I am still waiting for stuff for Dave and Katie and Jamie from uh, my D&D &D group, basically, for their stuff to be delivered. I don't think it's coming until after Christmas. And then the guy should be picking up your parcel tomorrow. Should be. They've already failed once. They were meant to come earlier today. They said, oh no, we've had to cancel. It's been too busy and stuff. Basically, the, the, the company that I send it with, they're like, oh yeah, we'll book it a day and we'll come and pick it up. And they give you like a, a time scale, so they'll say, oh yeah, we'll pick it up between like 4pm and 5pm. And they were supposed to come today at that time, and then I got a message at that time saying, oh sorry, we've not been able to come, it should be tomorrow. Bastards. I was only waiting for one thing as well, and it was something dumb for Bart.
Yeah, Dave's been telling me that the post here is crazy. Like, our post offices are getting so overwhelmed that they're being like, the postmen are being told, oh yeah, you, you need to like concentrate on parcels and ignore ignore letters and stuff like that. I know somebody... Did you say Greg and Yash both got their parcels yesterday, was it? Because I know somebody who sent one to Australia two weeks ago and it's still not there. But he put one of those little tracking tags in it so he could see where it is. Yeah, I know Yashka is. Just hope Greg gets his now. Keep fingers crossed. But yeah, I know someone who sent a parcel to Australia two weeks ago and it's still not there. But he has one of those little tracking tags in it. And it tracks as being like, as like the big international office in Australia. No! Bad PlayStation. Now, will it have saved my progress? I never used to get crashes on my, my, my PlayStation. Ever. And then, this is like the third game recently where it Ah, yeah, it saved it. Where it's been happening. Ah, it saved my progress. Good. I would have been unhappy if it hadn't. Change you for the... Long one. Like I've been playing a lot of... Nah, uh, it's the way that, um... The PlayStation 5 Look handles... Isn't it lovely? PS4 oh, wow, games and yeah. stuff. You sh shake those hips, buddy. Hi, Dave! It's, uh, the, the PS5 isn't technically backwards compatible. It just has a PS4 emulator. That's how it works. So with it being an emulator, it is not the most stable of things. How are you doing, Dave? We've been talking about how crappy the post is. I'm sure you can sympathise. And Jamie. Like, I have something for you and Katie and Jamie, but it is in the post at the moment, so I'm waiting for it. Also, song request is on is if if you want to queue something up. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Outline of an elf that got splattered. So 
I've been having a look at my stuff for my new PC as well. I know where I'm getting it from now. I just gotta nail down the exact stuff I want. But I'll almost definitely be able to get a 40 series, which will be awesome. And then I will play all the games ever because I have an ever increasing list of Steam and Epic and other games that I can play that I've just built up over time because this PC can't run them. Like I'm gonna get Lethal Company so we can troll Greg as well. for the football song. Oh yeah, last attempt at Manchester trip is tomorrow, Dave. There's a couple of us who've just said, right, regardless of anything else, we're going to try and go tomorrow. As long as the weather's not absolute shite. But considering it's been pretty much a storm the past couple of days, we've it. Right, one of them have said we, we might just go anywhere. It's like, okay, we'll just go and get piss wet through. Yeah, we'll just get piss wet through and buy glue wine and warm up off that. Here we go. Yeah, a couple of our fence tunnels have gone down as well. There's one that's right in the corner that falls down constantly. And it's just staying that way. Fuck it. It can wait. As long as the bins don't blow away again, I'm fine. Like when we had that mental storm. Is it last month? Month before? I had to chase the bins down the street at one point. I also seen have you also seen they've uh, the deal has all been nailed down for the the Warhammer series that Henry Cavill's working on. Like it's all contracted in place and everything now, so it's happening. They've given their budget been given their budget and everything. Yeah, basically they, they have, um, what do they call it, basically the pitch, like this is the show we want to do and, and all that, and then it was basically negotiating the contract for the, 
the budget and how many episodes and stuff like that. And that's all been nailed down now. Hi Kelly! Officially the first person here. How you doing? After being... Biddy. It's the new Christmas map. It's like Santa's workshop. I've literally not played it on the PS4 before, so I have a completely fresh game to play. <gasps> Trophy's bugged. Oh, you got scammed. I still only have Platinums for like two games. Well, three games. Like, I have some rare achievements. A Jenkins! Yeah, it is. It's just a... A chill... Like, relaxing game. It was either this or the one where you get to demolish stuff instead. <laughs> yeah, they've got some stuff out. Like I know in multiplayer you can knock each other down but you can't injure people with each other with them. <laughs> Have you seen the people doing the speed runs, Kelly? Oh, it's top to bottom. Always. Oh, The way you're supposed to clean anything, really. Yeah, I tend to do it in sections like this. So I'll, I'll do like these big roof panels first. And then I'll do the beams and then I'll do the like the walls and stuff and work my way around. I section it all off in my head. Well, it's handy that it sections itself off in the game, but I do it in my head as well. And go, I'll do this bit and then this bit and this bit. I'm using the green one. But yeah, you should see people speed running this, Kelly. 
Like there's um I watched one video of some guy doing it. And it's literally like mouse at max sensitivity. They have the shortest nozzle with the closest thing and they just go whoosh all over the place. Stupid fast. They just stand as close as possible for maximum pressure. And then let's just go. Like literally they just go like that. Imagine doing that like super fast all over the place. And that's how they speed run it. Like, I'm amazed at how some pe people speed run some games as well. Like, I've been replaying through Metal Gear Solid Five, and I've gotten decent at it. Like, I can, like, all the missions and stuff I'm getting through at the moment, I'm doing throw without enemies getting alerted and things like that. But then. I've seen people going, uh, doing the same mission in like less than a tenth of the time and they're just sprinting into guards, shooting them on the way and knocking them out and stuff like that because they've just memorised where everybody is. It's crazy. Oh, you go that way. I go up and down just because I find it easier. Oh, love fist. How far G through GTA are you now, Dave? I've been watching some of your videos online but I've not been to watch all of it <gasps> hi Manu welcome back is Bart no longer stinky Happy Solstice. Ah, so you do it like this, Kelly. You move your character instead. And you just go... Ugh. Working for the Yakuza. Can I climb this? I bet I can. I need to turn that sensitivity up. Um. <coughs> Options. We'll knock you up a little bit. Let's try there. That's better. Jump, damn you. There. <laughs> Living all the old memories. I remember, do you know those races it showed you? You showed us, Dave. Like, I remember getting horribly stuck on those races because I was terrible at them. Hoover up, Biddy.
yeah, we got a. Uh, there's a couple of older games that I need to go back through again. Well, I know it's a way off, but I'm going to play through GTA 5 again. And get it finished. Because I know there were a few bits, like side missions and stuff, that I missed. So I want to go back and do those. <gasps> It is a playlist I have had for a while, Manu. Me and a guy called Nick from work just added a lot of, like, jazzy Christmas stuff song to it. work our way through the series. Oh, Dave. That means you can have, like, all the meme clips from 4 of going bowling and shit like that. I will send it to you, Manu. Uh, where is it? There you go, there is the playlist in case anybody wants it. That's a song I was going to say. There. <laughs> Surprise Mariah Carey. I should probably use Spotify more, but I can't be bothered. Because I have to pay. And I can get away with ad blocker and stuff on YouTube Music. I've even got a uh, <laughs> yeah the um because I usually use it on my phone like Spotify I would get a bunch of ads but I've literally got a YouTube music app that has zero ads or anything on it so I use that instead And yeah, um, if you're using like uBlock Origin, and um, is the main one, but there's a couple of others, like they've been defeating the ad block thing on YouTube as fast as YouTube has been updating it, so it's almost never getting noticed. So I remember when YouTube first added this new anti-ad blocker thing. 
there was literally like dozens of posts to their forum on the first day of send us your bug reports and they can find out from that how it's still getting the detected. Yeah, Adblock Plus runs off the the same stuff as Ublock Origin. Like they use the same lists and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. There's uh, somebody got what was it? Seven ads before a video the other day. Like four of them unskippable. Yeah, no, 10 minute videos are like the minimum for basically more than one ad in your video. But YouTube just got silly with it. <laughs> oh, did you see uh, Ubisoft put ads in their game for newer games? So the newest Assassin's Creed, is it Mirage, came out recently. And people who were playing uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey and Origins were getting pop-up ads in-game for the new one. Saying, oh, when you're done with this campaign, you can play this. the song break. There. <gasps> Dave. <laughs> Dave. You're terrible. So have you added this to your uh, Christmas playlist to play at your your mum and dad's day for when you're cooking for them? You better have. I'd love to see their faces if they started playing. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, you definitely can't be trusted. That's the other thing I need to get before Christmas. I have to get some hot chocolate stuff. I just remembered I can get some of those while I'm in Manchester. As long as we go. Now you know the place I got your... The fudge for you. The other year, Dave. Like the stall in Manchester that does all the fudge. So the same people do those hot chocolate stirrer things. You know, the spoon and you just dunk it into hot milk and swirl it around. They do those. I'm going to have to get some of them while I'm there. Yeah, that fudge stall is the best stall. I'm going to go to the Dutch pancake stall as well just to see just to send pictures to Manu and Bart and see how fake they are. Hi Wayne, how you doing? I didn't two even things know in the world that I hate more than anything, that's one, racial intolerance, and two, the Dutch. <laughs> Manu. You know what isn't on this playlist that should be? <gasps> Dave, it won't play your song. <laughs> Said this video is not available in your country. <laughs> That's why it went all silent then, because it was refusing to play it. Topped up with a little message saying I have to pick it. Yeah, this is what's missing, Dave. It's just for you. It's 
just for you, Dave. <laughs> we all know how you love this band. platforming to reach the awkward bits. See, man, who Dave hates the song. Dave hates the darkness in general because he's got terrible taste. <laughs> and that's all you can think about Dave There's somebody I know from Studio Dave who hates the, uh, you know, the Live Aid what song, and it's purely because she had the chance to go and turned it down. <laughs> so she can't stand to listen to it anymore. I just make fun of her for it constantly. Although she did get me back because she got tickets to see Iron Maiden and she specifically sent me a message when she went say look where I am.
How much did Santa spend on his sleigh? Nothing. It was on the house. Dave, that's terrible. And you're terrible. Have you been looking up there? The Christmas special of those jokes on Instagram or whatever. Uh, sometimes even being a dad can't get you can't get away with it. It's terrible. Well, I got my first notification earlier, Dave, of somebody trying to invade my vase on Metal Gear Solid. And it happened to be playing at the time, so they got battered. So somebody invading you only gets one life. As a defender, you get infinite lives, you just don't get, like, to see where they are or anything like that. And... Um, they can only invade one of your platforms. So they've got to pick like the command platform or the research one. They picked the command platform. So I just whipped out my sniper and sat on one of the little um, like cranes off to the side watching for them. So I spotted them sneaking up from below and just sniped him right off a balcony. Poor guy didn't even manage to take down one of my guards. Give me the option to go back and get his as well, so I might do it later. Because if somebody, like, invades your base and there's an alert or something... I'm not sure if it's just if there's an alert or something, or whether it gives you the option anyway. But it gives you the option to, like, go and invade their base as revenge, so I'm going to go and do it later. Might go and steal some of his staff, which is the best bit about it. Like, if you want to level up your staff a bit, just go rob somebody else's. Like, I don't think any of my staff are like below A plus rank at the moment because I've just been stealing them from all over. Forgot about the underneath. What is this song? 
Leon Redbone. Some random shot on this playlist. Why was the snowman smiling? He could see the snowblower coming down the street. That's even worse. It's terrible, Dave. I know, because you've probably got a Christmas jokes website open for, at the ready. I know what you like. I'll be right back. I need to get a drink. Should have got one before I started, before I forgot. BRB. Why was Santa so damn jolly? I can see that bar. He knew where all the naughty girls lived. You can hide the messages if you want, Bart, but I can literally see the playlist of the next songs to the left of it. Like, literally, my panels in OBS, I've got chat on the right, Steam preview in the middle. On the left hand side is the media requests and the playlist so I can see all of it. Including this. Oh, I forgot to show you. So, 
when the Game Awards were on, I was watching a like a live review of it, and there was some lad going absolutely nuts because Undertale wasn't in the the nominees for best game music. Like literally going nuts because of it. So like, oh, it's like the it's a musical masterpiece. It's some of the best music in gaming in years. So I was going to show you, but the guy deleted the VOD as well. <laughs> Hi Greg, you joined at the perfect time. I went for a short break to get a, a drink and Bart decided to queue up his favourites. How are you doing Greg? Has your parcel arrived yet? We're all waiting to see. Right, we know where you live, Greg. We'll have to deliver the next ones by hand. We'll just turn up at your door with them. <gasps> but yeah, apparently it is my affiliate anniversary because I forgot I got my affiliate like just before Christmas one one year. Thank you, Greg. Bart, you skipped it with like 10 seconds left. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. <gasps> you haven't seen Total live. Cool. Who are the playing with like who's supporting the Manu <clears throat> I'm just gonna add them all whole to the playlist.
Yeah, somebody I know went to see Toto live. <gasps> They're going to the festival. <laughs> Just your kind of music, Kelly. Yeah, Greg actually left when he put that email on. He's not coming back now. He's gone forever. The only reason I know what this song is about is because Yash sent it to me the other day. All the same, Greg. You're all terrible. by William Censored. They'll never change, Greg. Ever. Do you know what this is, Kelly? Gachi music, Kelly. It's songs made with remix sound bites from gay porn. Greg, I uh, I bullied Dave yesterday as well. 
because he put a point redeem on for a 24 hour stream so I redeemed it seeing as I have a silly amount of points and Dave is going to try and do Bloodborne in a single 24 hour sitting the entire game so he's finally going to finish Bloodborne I'm trying to do it in one 24 hour stint it's doable So I think he's put a date in for it as well. I'll check his Discord. There you go. Saturday 6th of January to Sunday 7th of January. There you go, there's your advertisement, Dave. Starting at mid midnight, the 6th of January. Midnight UK time, going to 7th of January, midnight. 24 hour Bloodborne Street. Yeah, drink lots of water as well. I stayed awake for almost all of the 24 hour relay stream that I did. That like that we did and you need to go out for like a breath of fresh air and stuff every now and then otherwise you will not survive Rah. there That was the other thing I was going to do today. Who in chat doesn't have a custom intro yet? An old man who's got one. Sherry's got one. Dave's got one. Who else wants one? And I will do it free because it's Christmas and stuff. Kelly, that means you if you're listening. Because I know you want one. Do you want one, Greg? Do you want a free fancy stream intro? I'll even use the Africa soundbite if you want. Rest, request, whatever you like, Greg. After Kelly's song.
Yeah, you have to wait until Kelly's song's done because she'll physically beat me up if I skip it. <laughs> Kelly! Kelly! I'm going to do the stream intros for free. As long as you request it on this stream, what do you want? Like, what soundbite do you want? Do you want me to, like, make it automatically play Jigglypuff whenever you appear or something? Give me a second and I'll grab it and add it. Right. I know how to do this. I will show you my scuffed way of how I uh, do these now. Now back to power washing. Oh Beth you'll love this. Seeing as you love hearing about stuff going to shit. Um. So, finished at studio on Friday now, nah, same as everybody else. All of our work got handed over to overseas to deal with and sports direct to deal with and fucking none of it's been done. None of it. So, <laughs> I was chatting to a uh, one of my mates upstairs and he said like everything all the return manifests everything like that none of it's been done at all so <laughs> they're gradually getting more and more screwed and they can't call us back because they've already let us go <laughs> Hmm. I need to climb this. There. Yeah. And I took so much stuff with me when I left. Making a brew.
It's a mass bath. Trashed the place. Hmm, what am I missing? Then the elves and their wild parties. Should know you're one of them. Climb, damn it. This game needs a crouch jump. Just add in that old Half Life crouch jump so I can get to the more awkward spots easier. Oh, you can kind of crouch jump. <sighs> That's the other one we need to add. Because he died not long ago. It was only a few days ago, wasn't it? I'm surprised he lasted that long. Anyway, to be honest, he was a crazy alcoholic. How about a nice cup of shut the fuck up? <gasps> I bet you shut up, Beth. <laughs> Have you managed to get all of your Christmas shopping done yet? Or are you going to be running around at last second? <laughs> Yeah, I saw Dave. Yeah, voice of Max Payne. Voice of Detective Sam Lake in Alan Wake as well. Yeah, so I pop up on. It's 
sweater from uh, the official remedy one about it. Yeah, the, um, the official remedy thing put on a thing about it, and they had a um, like a short video, uh, basically before they finished making Alan Wake or Alan Wake Two, I should say. They had a lot of stuff recorded for like um, You know, like dumb stuff they'd done in the studio as ideas for the game that they never actually put in. And they're going to see about releasing those as like, like standalone videos over the next few weeks or something. it this one. What else is there? We've still got those walls. Still got these walls.
I wonder how power washing this painting clean works. Surely you just blast all the paints off it. I didn't realise there are actually names on this. Grinch, it's on the Christmas list. Because the Grinch didn't hate people. He didn't hate Christmas, he just hated people. Which is understandable. Why is my phone shouting at me? more spam so I didn't get any for years and then recently I've started getting spam messages on whatsapp they try and phone me I'll answer it it's always funny I just try and wind them up for as long as I can waste their time the longer they're talking to me the longer they're not trying to scram some old dairy out of her pension I do it all the ones, all the time with the ones that phone up and say, oh, Mr. Johnson, I heard you were in a bad accident. And I just ham it up and give them a lot of bullshit. Yeah, I, uh, I was in a car accident a few weeks ago and I, I, I died. I've been clinically dead for 15 days. I don't get loads, but I get like maybe one or two a week when I used to get once a month at most. But yeah, I, I just waste all their time. The longer I can keep them talking, the longer I can stop them getting through to somebody who actually might fall for it. <laughs> Poor Dave, only getting phone calls from scammers. 
It's because they think you're more likely to fall for it. That's what it is. Elvis. I only recognise this because one of my aunties is an Elvis fan. And this gets played pretty much every Christmas. Hit the ceiling. Wonder what that sound was then, storming again. Yeah, you guys can't hear it because of the microphone, but all I can hear at the moment is the music and then rain slapping against the window next to me. It's just blowing a gale.
the snowman. I have only ever watched the snowman all the way through twice. And both of those times were at primary school when we had snow days. <laughs> yeah, there were two there were two days where we got snow days at primary school. So like cuz we only lived a couple of streets away, we just walk it. But like teachers who had to drive there and stuff couldn't get in. So they would just sit us all down in the middle of the school hall and we watched the snowman or something like that. And I watched it all the way through twice. No crackers done. That's that side done. Now for this side. definitely should if you haven't. This is a good film. It's an animated movie bar. It has almost no dialogue to it. Literally just all music. But it's good. The whole thing is probably on YouTube, to be honest. It would surprise me if it wasn't. <laughs> Jump shot. <laughs> Maybe you and Dave both made it up.
Oh yeah, this is the kid who got scammed, isn't it? Yes, the, the kid who did this song for the movie got properly scammed. <gasps> Hi, Pod. Yeah, so the kid who sang this song for the movie isn't the one who got famous and released it as a single, it's a different kid. So this kid does this amazing singing part for the movie, or for the snowman. And then literally the same year it was released, it gets released as a single single song by somebody else and they made millions off it. So So, the boy who sang it in the film, Dave, is a boy called Peter Oti. And Alad Jones is the one who released it as a single when he was a kid and made all the money off it. So, yeah. Poor Peter got scammed. Yeah, I don't know if he ever tried to, like, sue for it or anything like that. I don't think he did. I just always remember the story. Can't reach that middle one. Should have sued, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Give me the fucking money. Another blooming Christmas. Yeah, Dave, you need to dye your beard white for Christmas.
<laughs> right, still these pipes that need doing somehow. That's this one, asking the deep philosophical questions, are we? Well, let me enlighten you. Dave may be a jolly old fellow, but as for being the real Santa, I'd say that's highly unlikely. Sorry to burst your holly jolly bubble. Ah, oh, Dave's not Santa apparently. I don't know how I'm supposed to get this last bit of the pipe. Unless... Broke again. There. <laughs> yeah, I can. Can I get him to re say it? I should be able to. Richard, say it again. See if this works. Sure. Oh, that's this one. Asking the deep philosophical questions, are we? Well, let me enlighten you. Dave may be a jolly old fellow, but as for being the real Santa, I'd say that's highly unlikely. Sorry to burst your holly jolly bubble. There you go, there's your answer. Right, so... Apparently there is part of this vent that I'm just missing. It's the vent panel. There. I mean, we you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. I 
I have heard so many different versions of this song. Usually thanks to Bart's cursed versions that he keeps finding. <laughs> I actually came across somebody the day Bart because I've been doing the LFG thing on uh, Destiny 2 to do raids and stuff and one of them was actually like listening to Christmas songs while he was doing the raids and he was asking us for like cursed ones so I sent him that Phillies Navidad but they scream the lyrics <laughs> I've actually been enjoying using that LFG thing a fair bit seeing as you can use it for pretty much anything and they've the way they've set it up you can go like oh this is a no microphone group this is a microphone group this is you have to know what you're doing or you can be completely new to it or whatever. So I've been working my way through the ra raids and stuff like that. <gasps> Do it Beth. It is nice and relaxing. You could just chill and play. And there's like dozens of levels for it now. There's like special levels and stuff. So like I'm doing the Christmas one at the moment. But. There's like. Tomb Raider levels. Final Fantasy levels. Spongebob levels. Back to the Future levels. As well as all the career stuff as well. <sighs> Do you know the best thing is Beth. It is multiplayer as well, so you could play it with Nate and annoy Nate while you play as well. Even better. It's on the PlayStation 1 at the moment. Um, I'm not sure if it's on the Xbox Pass anywhere. bit behind these flags isn't it I'm trying to think which bit of this wall am I missing it's the bit that's behind these flags <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I made that one myself, Beth. 
Kelly enjoys it as well. Like, I had a look at my list of the ones that got used the most straight after they were added. And the two that got used the most are that one, the new Richard Jam one, and Blankies. Those three. <laughs> and I made all of them I did cheat a bit by like using other emotes as like guidance for them a basis for them but I made these Right, I can't be missing that much more. Where the fuck am I missing bits? There. <laughs> One tiny bit. Trying to think of what I need to get tomorrow. Need to pick up some up for Dad. Like his main present is something we've all put in together for. But need to get him out. Get him something just from me. And I don't know what to get because I never know what to get him. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> oh, the hairy bikers thing. It's a good shout actually. for more climbing. No, this one can get skipped. No witless useless please. the age-old question of sibling rivalry. Well, since I have no siblings, I'm afraid I can't make that judgment. But I'm sure you're both equally unique. See, he said not you. You're a mess, Dave. Can't tell who it is from the thing. Let's see. Is it current song? <laughs> Mark Nolan, yeah, that's about right. What time is it? Right. I am going to head off because it is getting late and I need to get food and stuff. And this level is way bigger than I thought it would be. Like, we got a big chunk of it done. Like the roof and three of the walls and a bunch of the other stuff. So we'll have a look, see who's online to raid. Who is a boot? <laughs> if I have you, oh yeah, the uh, the bear thing here. Astro drew this for me. So Astro drew Richard for me. So yeah. It's cool. 
In fact, Astro is all. And he's de debuting his new 3D thingy, so we'll go and say hello to him. So yeah, we're going to raid over to Astro Phil. Who drew cute Richard for me. And he's got his fancy new VTuber thing that he's previewing today. So, I will see you all next time. It'll be like after Christmas now, because I'm not doing a stream on, on Sunday. So, bye-bye everybody. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye.